For much of his 20 years as a yacht designer, Giorgio M. Cassetta has had a pretty low media profile. And that's because instead of promoting himself, he's preferred to build up the profile and portfolio of his own studio. So we got pretty excited at Super Yacht Times when he invited us to visit him in Rome. Because firstly, he's got a whole bunch of new projects due to launch over the next year or so. And secondly, well, who wouldn't welcome a trip to Rome in the spring, especially after all the lockdowns? But then we got to thinking, right, how can we make this video different from the standard designer interviews? And that's when we decided to approach it from the owner's perspective and have a bit of fun along the way. So let's do it. <laughs> This is, this is not your latest project, I imagine, Giorgio. Well, this is, this is more than 30 years old, actually. I was uh, seven years old and I made this with my dad. Of course, he made most of it, but uh, it's, it, it was my kickoff in the world of yachts. Designing a yacht, it's not just drawing, it's managing complexities. We, as the exterior designers, uh, even more so when we also take care of the interior, we have to be um, the ones having the whole vision as something that is clear to us from the very first steps. Right, Giorgio, I want you to imagine that, that I'm a potential client, an ultra high net worth individual, and I'm coming to you because I want you to design my next custom super yacht. I've got a pretty good idea of what I want. What would you ask me to get the ball rolling, so to speak. Of course, your idea of what you want, but I would also need to know how you plan to use this boat. Are you someone who is uh, only using the boat in a certain area of the world, or are you a world sailor or something in between? Uh, where do you spend your summers, your winter? Is this going to be a family boat, a very private boat with three or four guests on at a time? Major question. Is she going to be on charter or do you want the potential for her to be on charter one day because you're not yet sure whether that's for you or not? I can say that um, I want something probably in the 60 to 70 meter range, Explorer-esque, but not pure Explorer. Displacement, of course, steel and aluminium. Um, world cruising, nothing too extreme. Use, not a huge number of guests. Um, charter, yes, not initially, but let's keep that option open. So I'm thinking there is a project we, we did uh, some time ago uh, that we could use as a case study or something that you could look at and, and maybe uh, get the ball rolling with that. Yeah, that would be great, so I can actually get, a, get an idea of what it looks like. Cool, let's do it. Great. This is pretty much the exterior that you came up with, right? Yep, um, at, at different what stages. What length of overall uh, is this project? Because I was looking for something, I was saying about 65 meters So, so you're seeing a 61 meter here, ah. and you're seeing a 66-ish mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. and, and these are two stages of the development of this project. I like the lines because exactly. it's kind of explorer-esque, but it's not pure explorer. It's quite aggressive w without being overly macho. Yeah, well, that's a good start. I like I, I, I like the I like the look of this. In actual fact, it, it kind of conforms with with my preconceptions uh, um, almost perfectly. In my introduction to this. I said that you've got uh, 10 projects or so launching over the next uh, 12 months. Well, we've got four big boats with Benetti. So we're talking about a 62 meter to 67 meters with very different designs and uh, a 68 meter. Then we've got three boats being built at Tankoa. One is a 50 meter on which we are doing the interiors. Coming in 2023, a 34 meter FRP production boat with Ocean Alexander. Two boats with Alpha Custom. Uh, one is a 35-ish meters and the other is a 42 tri-deck boat, uh, a particularly interesting project. You mentioned there an interior project. Now we don't associate uh, Giorgio M. Cassetta with interiors normally, so what's going on there? Oh, well, um, it's a relatively new thing with many, many owners owning boats from us uh, over the recent years, uh, I've had many requests 
from them to design not just the exterior but also the interiors of their next designs. And, and I also have people in the uh, in the team who were very keen to to approach that side of the business. I have. Uh, my mother, who works for me, who has been an interior designer for years, uh, for decades actually. And I also hired more people and we've put together a whole interior team. And now, believe it or not, we're working on, I guess, eight interior projects between 30 and 60 meters. Laura, you're responsible for the uh, interior design. Okay, well, we've spoken about the exterior design with Georgia. Now I want to sort of pin down a little bit the, the interior design. What, what would you ask me? What's the first question you would ask me as a client? I would love to know what kind of a style of interior you may prefer. Okay, well, I'll tell you straight away what I prefer. Yeah. Uh, uh, something which is sophisticated, but, but not overly sophisticated, natural, laid back. Uh, I like, uh, again, quite natural finishes, yeah. not too much gloss. With that, uh, we could move on showing you the mood board we prepared uh, for you. So in this case, uh, we would go for the, this, this mood board here, mm. where we have uh, much more informal uh, style and uh, dried material with uh, a more beach house style. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. More natural, for example, as you can see the stone, it's not uh, glossy, it's completely dried. Uh, and then uh, we have some leather or, for example, very soft material like cashmere for decorative cushions or as well this ivory fabrics for the shears. So something really that it gives a, an atmosphere of calm and uh, an environment where you can feel at home. That's what I want. So this is the 3D model that normally we reach after a few weeks we work on the, on the project. We have, in this case, um, found the style we want to go for for this type of project, for this, uh, for this yacht. Um, well, and I can we, see reflections Yeah, as well. we, we have paid attention on the details of the reflection on the surface. It's something that we are really keen on it. Now that looks nice. It looks balanced, but maybe it would be even better if it was a little bit longer, a little bit sleeker. Yeah, we can, we can uh, extend the vessel and for sure the extension will emphasize the look of the boats. It's a very sleek and slender mm. uh, profile and uh, by simply extending the four decks, the, the bow section and the aft and transfer of the vessel, you can see how this balance in a midship, uh, emphasizing the very stretch and long and fine bow section. Now you can see it's like a sportive car, all the, the major mass is more aft mm -hmm. and it's, you know, it's emphasized the length of, mm. the, of the front of the, of the boat. We've discussed interiors, we've discussed um, a little bit the GA, the arrangement. I guess what we need to do now is start taking care or, or go on taking care of the ex exterior appearance mm -hmm. of these yachts. So we should configure the colors. Yeah, let's choose the colors, uh, that's the best bit. So this is pretty much what we saw um, with Mario, sort of a, a, a yep. uniform gray hull and superstructure. Exactly, the differences I, you see. I quite like that. I'm the simulating the, the light here. The idea of, of perhaps keeping that grey hull and uh, having a lighter superstructure, maybe white superstructure. So you're and saying see what something that like this. Like. That's an interesting. Uh, that's an interesting idea, actually. I, I think this is. Uh, I think this is the final version. Um, this is the one I like. Okay, so can you send me some renders? Uh, of course, I'll, I'll shoot you this image and. And then the deposit will be it will be in the bank next week. Okay. Perfect. I'll send you the album. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.